What's up you guys, Idiot Fliptronics. So I'm helping you guys out if you're having an issue with apps not installing correctly on your iPhone 6S. So you guys, there's gonna be a wide variety of reasons this could be happening. Something I always recommend doing is a quick restart on your phone. So uh, restarting can work if there's an overheating issue going on. Anytime that you've got your iPhone on for, let's say 150 to 200 hours straight, um, it starts to get laggy and then it has issues with uh, you know just certain apps running and this could be apps installing as well so uh, try restarting your iPhone even uh, you know turn it off for a couple minutes then turn it back on um, you want to make sure that uh, you have a strong internet connection obviously you guys make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi um, if you think Wi-Fi might be an issue definitely uh, restart your modem and router it's another thing you could do uh, Another good thing you guys should try doing is killing all the running apps by double tapping the home button. Um, if you have too many apps or uh, you know things running in the background that can cause with uh, apps not installing correctly. Uh, if you're getting an issue where the app starts to install and then it just kind of stops or it's going real slow. Um, you know that could be an issue with that particular app so uh, sometimes that could be an issue. Um, if you guys are having an issue with the app that's starting to install but it's not installing like fully, uh, you could try uh, plugging your iPhone into iTunes and then installing it that way. I've had a lot of luck with that in the past. Whenever I've got an app that um, you know won't install correctly through Wi-Fi, if I plug it into iTunes and then install it that way, I can get it onto my iPhone. So that's a that's a pro tip right there. It'll work for you. So try it. Um, Let's see here, you guys. Uh, you want to make sure you're not full on storage. If you're full on storage, obviously that's going to be an issue with getting another app on your phone. It's probably something you don't think about, but uh, depending on what gigabyte size you have on your uh, iPhone success, you could be getting low and that it'll prevent a new app from installing. Um, other than that, you guys, I would say that uh, those are pretty much some of the main reasons that uh, apps aren't installing correctly or you know they're not installing at all. Uh, you could always do a factory reset or try restoring uh, your iPhone through iTunes, but unless it's happening to every app that you're trying to install, I would definitely not do that. If it's just one app in particular, you might come across an app that just won't install. It happens all the time, guys. It happens on iOS and Android where you come across an app that's having issues. If it's a paid app that you paid for and it's not working, then just you know head over to... Uh, you know, um, report a problem dot apple dot com, and then you can get a refund on that app right away, so uh, you can get your money back. But um, that's about it, you guys. Definitely feel free to comment on this. Uh, stay tuned for more, guys, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.